Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to query SQLite databases with DuckDB. Okay, so I found this European football or soccer database on Kaggle, and I thought this might be an interesting one to play with. So you can see it contains countries, leagues, matches, players, and teams from 2008 to 2016. So it's reasonably recent. It should be quite interesting to play with. So we've downloaded that file locally, and now we're gonna start up the DuckDB CLI. Once we've done that, the first thing we need to do is install and then load the SQLite extension so that we'll be able to connect to our database. Uh, once that's done, uh, we get some procedures available in our DuckDB environment, and one of them is called SQLite underscore attach. And if we call this and pass in our database name, it will attach all the SQLite tables in that database into our DuckDB. And we can call pragma show underscore tables to see a list of all of them. So let's do a bit of a sanity check on the data. So we'll just do a simple select style query on each of those. So we'll start with country, so that looks fine. Let's do league. Also okay, match, all good so far. Let's have a look at the team attributes and now the player attributes. And then finally the team, all good, and player. And so here we, we run into a bit of a problem. So you can see we've got a mismatch type error on the height column. And so I was like, okay, what's going on here? So let's describe that table. And so you can see here that the height column type as suggested by the error message is, is big int, but the values in there are, are float values. So that, um, is a bit of a problem. So I thought, okay, well, surely I can alter the table and change the, the types. I do alter table, uh, change it to be a type. And it's like, no, you can't do that. It's, a, it's not a table, use alter view. So I was like, okay, let's do that instead. And now it still doesn't work. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to go, have to, go to the docs now. So let's go to the docs. Uh, and so if we scroll down the docs a little bit, we see that it, it points out that this error is quite common because SQLite doesn't enforce types on the columns, the data that you're putting in um, to the columns. And so get, you can get to this situation where we've put float values into an integer field and it's like, yeah, that's cool. It also does suggest a solution for us, which is to set this parameter or config, global config, I suppose, called SQLite underscore all varchar equals true. So if we set that, then it will just treat every column as being a varchar, which I guess is, is probably a good start. So let's try that out. There is then an, another procedure, uh, which I d found on the, on the documentation called SQLite underscore scan. And with this one, you can actually specify a particular table. So in our case, we're only interested in changing player, right? Since the, all the other ones worked fine. So we'll call SQLite scan, we'll pass in the name of the database, pass in the name of the table, and let's return 10 rows. Okay, so now it works. But I thought oh, it's probably not gonna let me like run any aggregation functions on those numeric uh, columns. So let's try and write a query there. So I do find me the average height and weight of all the players. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Uh, we get an error. Uh, okay, so next I was like, okay, well, maybe I can just create the players table manually and I'll set the um, type of the height column to float. So we'll do that. And then we can insert the data into that table using that SQLite scan function that we just saw. And so you can see that once that's done, let's go back and try our, our query again. And so this time it works, so that's cool. And so what I wanna do next is connect the players to the player attributes to see who's the best player in the game. So let me just do a quick check, like what do the attributes look like so I can work out which attribute I need. So I do select star from player attributes, but now that's got broken. Uh, so we've got an error that says, contents of view were altered, types don't match. So I guess actually somehow running that uh, SQL scan or SQLite scan function has messed up my other tables. So we're gonna have to go back again and load those again. So we'll unset the uh, SQLite all varchar variable. So get that back to, to false. Uh, let's attach everything again. This time I have to make sure I've put in the overwrite equals true. Otherwise it, it throws an error saying, hey, it's already attached. So that, but that's fine. So we do that. And then once that's done, um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna rename my players table uh, to be player. So let's drop the player view uh, and then let's alter our players table and rename it to be called player. Uh, once we've done that, we can then, let's check that we can select stuff from our player attributes. Yes, we can, so that's all good. And now uh, we can try some queries that I wrote earlier. So the first one, as I say, was find the player with the highest recent rate Rating. So you paste that in, and then you can see. So 2016, if you remember, it, I mean, it's the, it's the time of Messi. I mean, I suppose now is the time of Messi, but Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Neuer, all these players. Uh, these were the, the, the highest ranked ones in 2016. And I was like, okay, what what other stuff can I run on this uh, database? So I went back to Kaggle. I clicked on the Code tab, and that has like a bunch of notebooks uh, that people have written. And so I thought, oh, there must be someone who's done some stuff with SQL. So we searched for that, and there is an awesome notebook right here, uh, which has a bunch of queries that we can try. Um, so I've copied some of those. Uh, so let's have a look. 
Um, so first of all, let's start with one, which is the matches in Spain. So we can run that. And you can see you get a few of the matches uh, from one of the seasons. Uh, let's try another one. So this one is the goals per game in the major leagues. And so we can see here the most goals were scored in, in Spain, but the most goals per game were in Germany. And the biggest advantage for the home team was also happening in Spain. So that might be an interesting thing to explore further. Uh, let's have a look at one more. Uh, so we're going to have a look at the players' heights and ratings. And so if we run this, you can see it doesn't really seem to be much correlation uh, in the, the heights versus these, these ratings. I guess the shorter players seem to have a little bit more, t more potential and the taller ones, I mean, perhaps unsurprisingly way more. So that's not really, <laughs> really a great insight. Uh, and so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how to query a SQLite database with DuckDB. If you found this video useful and you're interested in DuckDB, have a look at my DuckDB playlist for more videos. Uh, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.